I think the, the main challenge for us is not so much succeeding only in the digital world, but is in fact, I think, going forward, linking what happens in the digital world with what happens also in the real world. So for example, how do we integrate something that's happening in the social space with what we might be doing in traditional advertising with what we might be doing from experiential marketing, sampling and those sorts of things. How do we get consumers to be able to go on a journey with our communication assets, with the story behind those campaigns from one place to the next? And I think that's going to be one of the main areas of focus uh, for us going forward in the next few years. I think one of the great thrills of the changes into uh, the, the opportunities that have, that have come up from the digital world have been around how you have to think about the development of creative assets very differently. So people who've just leapt into taking a television ad that they've normally put into a TV schedule and then sticking it into the internet, uh, into some kind of... Um, uh, uh, website and hoping that they're going to reach the right people and that's going to be doing the right thing uh, have often been misled. Um, I think there's a phrase that we follow at the moment which is um, stop interrupting people when they're doing something else and asking them to pay attention to you uh, and start working out what they're doing and then give them something that matches um, the content that they're trying to consume at the time. So um, I think there's a, there's a great art in taking the creative idea that lies behind a campaign that would have generated a TV advert or a radio advert in the old days, and then looking at how you might change that so that it goes into a different context for the digital space.